Hello everyone, my name is Colin Bodbill for ifsecglobal.com. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a Vigilance 5 megapixel H.264 fixed camera. The 5.0-H3-B2 looks very similar to a Vigilance JPEG 2000 fixed cameras, but this H.264 version has some major differences. Taking a look at the physical design of this camera, you'll see that it is small, slick and beautiful. At first glance, you may think that the camera is actually missing its lens, but the lens is in fact built into the front portion of it right here. Both the top and bottom of this camera have standard quarter inch adapters, so there's never a need to install it upside down. On the back of the camera, you have a 12 volt DC and 24 volt AC adapter for if you choose not to use PoE. Otherwise, to the right of the power terminals is your PoE supported ethernet jack. Next to that is the 3.5 millimeter jack that supports both audio in and audio out as well as a composite video out to assist with aiming the camera. Lastly, next to the AV jack is your standard alarm input output jack. Alright, now let's get techie. The Vigilon 5.0-H3-B2 comes with a built in 3-9mm lens supporting both remote zoom and remote focus as well as P-iris control. It obviously has a maximum resolution of 5 megapixels, but it does support both H.264 and MJPEG compression. The camera's video stream maxes out at 13 frames per second. It has automatic day-night control and the usual video motion capabilities. Lastly, and very importantly, this camera is ONVIF compliant, which means you don't need to buy in a Vigilon server if you want to use this camera. Alright, enough techie talk. It's time for what I like about this camera, followed by what I don't like about it. I love this camera's compact and beautiful design. Unlike many other cameras in the industry, I wouldn't be ashamed to install this camera indoors without a fancy housing. It's such a refreshing design in an industry full of boring white box cameras. Probably the most important thing I like about this camera is its remote zoom, remote focus and P-iris control. When you start to get into cameras above 1 or 2 megapixels, it becomes very difficult to manually focus those cameras properly. So I find the remote focus feature is crucial in saving time and maximizing every pixel this camera has to offer. Alright, so now what I don't like about this camera. I don't like how this camera and every other Vigilon camera does not support edge storage yet. I understand why Vigilon hasn't moved towards edge storage, I mean they are an NVR manufacturer after all. But I think if they're smart and paying close attention to what competitors like Exact Vision are doing, they'll see a big opportunity in providing a edge storage solution for small one or two camera applications that can use the edge storage SD cards with a fully functional VMS client. The last thing I don't like about this camera is the lack of lens options. Now Vigilant has made things better by recently adding a 9 to 22 millimeter lens. However, that's still 18 millimeters short of what competitors are offering on their 5 megapixel H.264 fixed cameras. So, while things are getting better, I'd still like to see a Vigilon add at least one more lens option to a minimum of 40 millimeters. That's it for this review of a Vigilon's 5.0-H3-B2 fixed 5 megapixel camera. My name is Colin Bodbill and thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. See you next time.